happen. AI first customer experience company Exotel has launched Harmony, a next-gen omni-channel platform that unifies voice, messaging, video and AI into one intelligent CX operating system. Now, Exotel says Harmony could power double-digit revenue growth by FI27 and position the company among a select few global players building human-assisted AI at scale. To break down what this means for enterprises, developers and the future of customer experience, joining me now is Sachin Bhatia, the co-founder and chief growth officer at Exotel. Sachin, welcome to Startup Street. Now, Exotel, like I mentioned, has unveiled Harmony, your next-gen AI human orchestration platform. What market gap, Sachin, does Harmony really solve? And why is this the right moment for such a step change in customer engagement or a customer experience? Shruti, thanks for inviting us and very happy and very excited to be here. So it's funny that we talk to our friends less than the amount of talking we do with the brands. Yeah. But the brands don't understand us at all. Uh, they, you know, you call a bank in the morning and you call them in the afternoon and you appear as a complete stranger and you'll have to repeat yourself all over again. Uh, how many tries to solve that gap by bringing one platform, uh, which does AI bots and humans, mm. uh, so that the experience is empathetic and intelligent for the end customer. Now you said, why this moment? I think AI is finally good enough to uh, use for automation safely. Mm. And I think CX is becoming more important than ever if you want to retain your customers. Sure. So Sachin, you're positioning Harmony as a unified CX operating system integrating voice, messaging, video and AI. What makes this integration a differentiator in the crowded you know, CCAS and CPaaS market? Also, Harmony promises up to 60% automation, 15 to 20% productivity gains with 99.9% .9 uptime. Can you break down how these efficiencies actually translate on the ground for your enterprise customers? So let's talk about differentiators first. You know, Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple once said that uh, if you're serious about software, you should have your own hardware. Mm. So how many works on one brain, one workflow, and then one reliability layer today, Exotel powers about 50 billion conversation globally uh, every year. So we understand network, communication, and all these channels really, really well. And then at the center of it is this intelligence, which brings context. Right? Yes. So we understand what has happened with you, how are you feeling right now, and what is the intent with which you are talking to us, and then uh, expose this to uh, the agents or the bots to answer it for you. What it leads okay. to is lower cost to service for the end enterprises, really faster resolutions for customers like you and me, mm. and very, very reliable infrastructure, so no drop-offs. Okay, no drop-offs there. Uh, you know, Exotel today powers 25 plus billion interactions annually, including 4 billion AI-led conversations. Now with Harmony, you're aiming to drive double-digit revenue growth by FY27. What are the key business levers behind that confidence, Sachin? And how do you see global expansion across Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Africa evolving from here? Thanks, Shruti. So yeah, I mean, last three, four months has been extremely exciting and we don't know where to pick that number, but I think the AI based conversations is is just skyrocketing for us. So that's, of course, the first growth lever. Also, today, Exotel serves six of the top banks uh, in India. You know, 95% of consumer fund, you know, funded consumer tech companies are already Exotel users. So in expanding wallet share in the CX space in those companies, uh, you know, rather than become an enabler, can they become the CX OS for them? And finally, we are also expanding to UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Southeast Asia. Uh, we are already present there, but now we are putting physical footprint and putting our teams there. So those are the three growth levers for us. Sure. Uh, you know, you've said, Sachin, that the future of CX is human-assisted AI. In fact, India's CX stack is expanding rapidly with CCAS, CPAS, and conversational AI all growing above 20% uh, CAGR. Where is the strongest demand coming from and how is Exotel positioned to lead this wave? Sure. So wherever you, you know, wherever you see that the high volume conversations are there, but it require trustworthy automation where requirement is of empathy and not just transaction information. We are seeing really, really high growth there. Uh, a lot of, lot of automation companies are also using Exotel as infrastructure today and building their voice bots and uh, you know, automation around communication. So that is the second lever of growth uh, that we are seeing. And finally, wherever you want, a hybrid of uh, human and AI, right? Uh, you don't want only bots to answer. Let's say there is a, a healthcare situation. You want the bot to hand off, mm. hand off to a human mm. being very quickly. I think those are the areas where uh, we are seeing okay. the highest demand. 
So a big promise of Harmony is automation with empathy. So how does the platform deliver empathetic, context-aware conversations, especially for high-stake sectors like BFSI and healthcare? So at the heart of it uh, is what we call as context, right? Why we like conversations with our friends is because our friends know what has happened with us. They get our feelings very quickly and they usually know what we intend to do. So we call it context, which is state vibe and intent. As, as conversations are happening, we are building state vibe intent for all, uh, uh, you know, all customers so that we realize that, okay, this conversation can be given to a bot or now it needs to be handed off to a human being. And okay. the human being is already aware what has happened with you. So, sure. yeah, I mean, that is automation with empathy for you. Okay, one final question. Looking ahead, how central is Harmony to Exotel's ambition to evolve from a communications enabler to a full-fledged AI for a CX transformation partner? And also, if you could share your growth targets with us. So, Shruti, the future of uh, CX won't be AI versus humans as the narrative. Yeah. Uh, popular narrative is there. I think it will be AI with humans. And Harmony is our bold bit for that future. Our ambition is very, very simple. You know, we want to become the most trusted AI transformation partners uh, for large enterprises in emerging geographies. Uh, we believe we can double uh, in terms of number of conversations. So continue to grow at 25, 30% over the next few years. Sure. Uh, and become a trusted partner and lead this and not just an enabler. All right. On that note, it's time for me to wrap up our conversation. Many thanks, Sachin, for joining us on Startup Street and wish you the very best with Harmony. Thank you so much. On that note, it is time for us to head into a short break. But